Hey everybody, what's up? It is Doug and welcome to another holiday edition of Spooky Villages. And today I have the Lemax Michaels exclusive Santa's Reindeer Stables. It's a very cute design on this one. I'll show it up here. I'll show you what it looks like lit up here in just a moment as I always do. But let me spin it around. This one actually has substantial construction, it feels like. And it's a lit building, but it's not a bulb lit building. This is actually one of my favorite styles uh, that Lemax does. And that's, that's the lit building that's not bulb lit. That means there are LEDs in it. Um, and it actually has two different kinds. It looks like it would just be standard white lighting. Uh, but actually, when you'll see here in just a minute, um, the sign here, the reindeer stable sign, actually has a little bit different lighting than the rest of it here. Uh, before I show it lit up though, let's just talk about some of the details. I love the reindeer here. I, so I love reindeer um, for the holidays and Christmas. I absolutely love anything reindeer. Really reindeer, which is also kind of forest related. I love all of that. So this is a very, very cute building. I guess it's, it kind of goes hand in hand with the farm stuff. I know this is obviously uh, Santa's reindeer in this case, but still I love, uh, I love like the forest, wildlife, trees, all that sort of thing. So I really dig this. My favorite type of holiday or Christmas village is that that shows like a deep forest or Christmas tree farm that kind of vibe so I guess because I love with the you know the farm stuff I love the farm stuff that's my favorite theme for uh, spooky village so you can see what it looks like lit up here this just explains it better um, with that different lighting you can see it's very subtle but it is different and I do like that so when actually talking about the detail you can see the reindeer here the actual stable part of it very cute it has the candy cane motif around around the outside uh, you know where they're eating and uh, dig the colors on it. Of course, red, green, the candy cane look just very traditional. And then you have the other part of it here where Santa is coming out. He's got a present. Looks like they're looks like they're loading up the sleigh kind of, and uh, with another one of the reindeer on the side with one of his elves by it. And you can see the little uh, clock graphic piece of decor here. And it uh, looks like it's late on Christmas Eve, which means Santa is about ready to roll. So the actual design of the architecture here, it is very reminiscent of a stable. And um, you know the lighting on it, I guess we should talk about it. Um, I do like how it's, it's got that little bitty, the subtlety and the difference in the white lighting. Uh, but this one would look amazing if the actual lights, uh, like on the top of it, which are just, you know, they're, they're decorative like ceramic, they're, they're molded in. Uh, that would be very cool if the lights were actually like live lights. Um, this would be very, very neat with colorful lighting. Of course, I love colorful lighting. But I do think for a relatively standard lit building, I think this does look very sharp and it's very striking. That white lighting looks very good with the green and the red that's on the building in the paint. And for fit and finish on it, uh, this does not feel very plasticky. This isn't one of the plasticky style buildings. And I really do like the paint on this one. The paint and the graphics, I think they are done uh, quite well on this piece. And it feels, it feels substantial. It's not super heavy, but again, it's not very light either. Uh, for those of you that, you know, that I, I know a lot of you out there care about that sort of thing. So this actually does have a battery compartment in this. You can uh, also use a power adapter. It does not come with a power adapter though, so just FYI, but you can run it off batteries or a power adapter, and the switch to it is on the back. All right, guys, that is Santa's Reindeer Stables, a new for 2022 Lemax Michaels exclusive. Um, cute little building. So thank you guys very much for watching. Let me know uh, below what do you think of this building? Have you got anything yet? Um, you know, for your holiday village. And uh, yeah, thank you as always for watching. Thank you uh, to my Patreon supporters um, and I appreciate you all. So thank you guys very much and I'll see you soon.